Hi, my name is Becca Slocum, and I have chosen Rumpelstiltskin by the Brothers Grimm. It is a story of greed, deception, and a whole lot of gold. Once upon a time, there was a miller who was very poor but had a very beautiful daughter. Now the miller was speaking to the king, and in order to make himself sound more important, he said, I have a daughter who can spin straw into gold. The king was delighted to hear this, and he said, This pleases me very much, and if your daughter is as skilled as you say, bring her to me, and I will put her to the test. When the miller's daughter was brought to the king, he placed her in a room filled with straw and a spinning wheel, and he said, Now, set to work. If all of this straw has not been spun into gold by morning, you will die. And he shut the door and left the girl alone. The girl was very frightened, for she did not know how to spin straw into gold, and she began to weep. Creak! The door opened, and a little man appeared. Good evening, Mistress Miller, he said. Why are you crying? Alas, she said, I must spin this straw into gold, and I don't know how. What will you give me if I help you, he asked. My, my, my necklace, my necklace, she said. The little man took the necklace, seated himself at the wheel, and three times round until the reel was full. Three times again until the whole room was filled with glittering gold. When the king arrived to see the room full of gold, he was astonished and delighted. But his heart grew more greedy, and he placed the girl in a second room and again demanded he sp she spin the straw into gold by morning or else she lose her life. The girl began to cry, for she did not know how to help herself. Once again, the little man appeared. What will you give me if I help you spin this straw into gold? He asked. My ring, the ring on my finger, she said. The little man took the ring, and again, three times round, and the room was filled with glittering gold by morning. When the king arrived, he was overjoyed at the sight, but again, he did not have enough gold. And he took the girl to a third and even larger room filled with straw and said, Spin this straw into gold by morning and you will be my wife. For he thought even though she be a miller's daughter, he could never find a richer wife in all the world. Once she was alone, the little man appeared. What will you give me if I help you a third time? he asked. The girl looked down. I have nothing left to give you, she said. Then promise me if you become queen, you will give me your firstborn child. The girl agreed because she did not believe that would ever happen. Once again, the little man spun all night, and by morning the room was filled with glittering gold. When the king arrived and saw all as he wished, he married the girl, and she became queen. A year later, she had her firstborn child and did not give the little man a second thought until one night he appeared. Now, give me what you promised, he said. The queen was horror-struck, and she promised him all the riches in the land, if only he would leave her her child. The little man said, No, I think a living thing is more precious to me than any treasure. The queen began to cry. Please, please, she said, and the little man felt pity on her. Very well, if you can guess my name in three days' time, you may keep your child. The queen sent a messenger the first night. The, the queen sent a messenger to find the, all the names in the kingdom. And on the first night, she said, "Is your name Balthazar, Melchior, Casper?" Each time, the little man replied, "No, that is not my name." The second night, the messenger was sent to the neighboring kingdom to find any unique names. Perhaps your name is Spare Rib, Sheepshanks, Lace Leg. And again he replied, No, that is not my name. The third night the messenger returned, Your Majesty, I have not found any new names, but I came across a little man dancing in the field, saying, Today I bake, tomorrow I brew, the next I'll take the young queen's child. Ha! Huh, glad I am that no one knew that Rumpelstiltskin I am styled. The third night he said, Well, Mistress Queen, what is my name? First she guessed, is it Conrad? No. Is it Harry? No. Is it Rumpelstiltskin? The devil told you that! The devil told you that!
the little man cried, and in his rage he plunged his right foot so far into the earth his whole leg went in, and in his anger he wrenched so hard at his left leg with both hands that he tore himself in two. That is the end of my story, and thank you for listening.